Oh yeah, we got pizza, pasta, pasta. We pa got pizza and pasta together would be pizza. <laughs> pizza, yeah. <laughs> Lump it all in there together. Well, they do that with chili mag, right? It's true. Back live inside Studio 10. I'm Jerome. This is Holly, and Dan Bavaro is here from Pizzaiolo Bavaro. And what is the translation of your restaurant again? Uh, Pizzaiolo is Italian for artisan pizza chef, and oh, Bavaro okay. is my last name. There you go. And you guys won best pizza last year on MetroMix.com, right? Yes, that's correct. And we are going to create one of your signature pizzas today. And I don't know if you know this, Dan, but Jerome and I have never tossed pizza dough before. Okay. So well, he's he's going to show us it's, it's stretching it out, right? That's we don't it. have to throw it in the air? No, there's no throwing. Okay, good. Is there any, uh, wh why, did, why do chefs do that? Is it just for show? It's just more for show. This type of dough is more of a wet dough. Okay. Uh, it's very delicate. And you're not about the showboating. You're about the flavor and no, the, the product. Mainly about, the, all we focus on is the quality. So. All right, so what's so. the first thing we do here, Dan? So first step is, uh, I guess, the dough itself. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, dough, okay. I've taken dough making, studied uh, in Italy, spent time here, had chefs come from Italy when we first opened for the first year. Okay. I uh, spent about three years researching. All right. So uh, I, the way we make dough at the restaurant, we've gone back a hundred years. We don't use uh, baker's yeast. Everything is all natural. Okay. So Ooh. we have more. This is authentic. Authentic. Okay. So do you have one of those starters? I got it right here. That's it? So, so how long has this thing been alive? This has been, I actually got this uh, from a restaurant in Italy. So I don't know how long they've had it. Wait, I, no, what, what oh, is, could be forever. What is that exactly? This is basically flour and water. It's a mixture that I feed three, four times a day. What do you mean you going. feed it? Well, it's a mixture between uh, part water, part flour. And it, it, it lives, and, right? Yeah, I it, mean, it's, it's like, a living organism. Yeah, Seriously? it like breathes. So it feeds off its gases, is basically what it wow. does. It's really so, cool. That's so, uh Take a look. Does it smell good? Or Deliciously good? creepy. How about yeah, that? It smells so. kind of like glue. Yeah, it does. It's so that's kind sticky. of the, the thing that makes it all come together and rise up, right? So yeah, puff yeah. up when you bake it. Yeah. So again, you know, if you're going to do it, you've got to have a mystery jar. And then, <laughs> and then you're all set. So what do we, let, let's get to work here, Dan. What do we okay. do next year? So basically what I do is uh, I mix this at a certain hour. Okay. Okay. okay I wait for it to rise. Yeah. Uh -huh. It'll double, triple in size. Sure. And that means when it's triple in size, it's ready to go. Okay. okay. So I make my dough when that yeast is ready. All right. So yeast, sea salt, Sicilian right. sea salt. Imported Italian flour from okay. Italy and water. Yeah, and you make okay. every every crust like this. Of course. Okay. All okay. right. So we have some little. Is this what you would start with normally for for a pizza for a typical pizza this yeah. size yeah, yeah, yeah. that we have here? Yeah. All right. And we just spread it out. Uh, here, Jerome, get your hands doing? in there. I'll right. show you. I'm going to show you. Wait, here. I'm going to show you oh, first with this real quick. Okay. Okay. We got, we got, okay. so we got three minutes. We got to do this in three minutes. I make the batch. Okay. Oh, look at that. Wow, that was cool. We take the dough. Right now we're stretching it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We make it into a ball. Okay. All right. Twist, lock. Yeah. I put it in a box, and right. there we go. Okay. All and right. All, that Two looks three like days a... later is when I make my pizza. All right. That looks like like a biscuit. It's about that size. It's about that size. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna show you how we stretch the dough. Okay. All right, so do three it. days later, uh -huh. dough's ready to go, which is All about right. right now. Okay. Okay. This is the Neapolitan style of. Spreading the dough. All right. Okay. You never touch the end. Never touch. Oh, I just that was the first thing I did. Yeah. Never touch the Don't end. Don't touch huh? the end because that's your crust. You see my fingerprints? Okay. Yeah. How okay. come Jerome's is shooting out air? Well, you want to get some of the air out. <laughs> that's right. Okay. I'm, I want an air-free crust. You're doing crust, the right Holly. thing. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna, How I didn't know. All right. You got to tap it. Flip it over a little bit. All right. Jerome. I flip it. Yeah. We're there tapping and flipping. Get some of this flour out of the way. And tap. That's real Italian flour, though. It's important. Don't want to waste it. Okay. Okay. So there. Right. Boy, that was easier than I thought. Okay. That was okay. pretty good. Well, thank you. Not bad for the first time. We started making our own pizzas at the Ritchie household. Did you really? Yeah. Okay. And All you right. do it like this, or you throw it in the air, don't you? Well, you know, we like to have a little fun. <laughs> we want to do it right. All right. So this is okay. So now you basically created your circle. You got right. your crust ready to go. Okay. Yeah. The objection is to keep your palm elevated like that. Right. With the dough underneath. Uh -huh. And now uh -huh. we're going to spin it. Okay. Okay. All now right. Watch me first. Wow. This is an art. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's like stomp. Now I don't you think white will come out like that. That's perfect. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now see that. This no, you gotta done. hit it on the table. Well, you, you're missing the the point. Really? Right here. Yeah. Finger here, hand here. Right here. Okay. Flip it up. Yeah. Catch it. Okay. Down. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Now at the same time, you want to keep spinning it, All right. so you spin the circle. Get the beat going. All right, there we go. Okay. Okay, we got a minute left All here, right. Dan. So let's go. All so right. we All got right. that. All right. <laughs> now we take the uh, San Marzano tomato, which is from Italy. Okay. Mm. Okay. We're gonna make a basic margarita. Which margarita is the pizza. Standard. Then what do you got here? Crushed tomatoes and yeah, it's crushed garlic. Cr crushed tomatoes. No Shrooms is gonna be a little bit of a thicker pizza, isn't it? It's still tasty. Parmigiano though, right? Reggiano. Oh yeah. 
sign me up there. Did you just sprinkle it out right on? Uh, you can use your fingers. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fresh Clean bagel. hands are a chef's best tool. <laughs> and a customer's, too. Oh, gosh, that smells good. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you got to have the fresh oh, basil. It smells amazing. You got to have the fresh basil. So you got to put some basil in there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Got to have the basil. This is Italian buffalo mozzarella. I guess. 30 seconds left, Dan. Flown in from Italy. I could oh, eat that with yeah. a spoon. Topped off with Italian olive oil. Fantastic. Okay. So it's not really overdone. This no, is this all is there it. is to this it. This is all simple ingredients. Then you cooked, bake it? Yeah, it's cooked in 850 degree wood fired oven. The uh, family's been building the ovens for uh, 100 years. In addition to the pizza, we have uh, homemade ravioli. And your own sauce, too. If you uh, like the yeah, sauce, you can take it home. Line. Yeah, we yeah. Have, it'll save you several steps. Just buy it already it's in the jar. Very true. We have two flavors of the sauce. Uh, we're in a dozen stores now, and we'll be in Whole Foods at the end of May throughout the state of Florida. Oh, cool. So you don't yeah. even, if, you, if you're having a craving and you can't get over to Pizzaiolo, then you can just go and pick it up at the store. There you go. Thank and you, Dan. Good, thank nice you. job. Once again, the best pizza from Metro Mix 2010, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. And you can vote now for this year, for 2011. And the voting is going on through, I believe, the beginning of next week. So go to MetroMix.com and do your voting now. Dan the man. I Thanks, sir. I wish we sir. could just eat this now. I, you good. It looks good and raw.